got me one. It didn't kill it though, it just barely got it. That he just got snagged by his foot. He didn't get snagged by uh, around his neck, so he didn't actually crawl through it. He just stuck his hand in there, or his hand, his front leg, and got snagged. Yeah, my gopher hawk. That's the biggest one I've gotten yet. I hadn't got one in my yard for about three years. Gopher hawk. Bought it online. Saw it on YouTube because I had tried the the gas pellets, you know, the poison gas pellets, the poison feed pellets, and just nothing worked. And I went on YouTube and just YouTubed, you know, mole control and came up with this gopher hawk. Yeah, this is over the last five years, this is probably mole number six. This one, it didn't actually climb through. He just got his, his front little paw uh, trapped in the snare. Yeah, gopher hawk. You got a mole problem, get some gopher hawks. Okay, here's a, uh, a fresh mole mound that I had uh, smashed down. I've seen a couple coming through the fence and I keep mowing them over and smashing them down, but this is brand new from yesterday. All right, now it's a little bit of a learning curve with this gopher hawk. They give you this tool, which is the probe, and then this is the ream tool. And then you've got to find an open tunnel. Okay, there's an open tunnel. Yeah, that's not very deep. And then you set your, here's your, your hawk when it's set. But you don't set it and then put it down in there. You put it down in there first, and then you set it. And then when it trips, you see the yellow. And uh, we'll see if we get another one. So let's see if we can if we can set one of these. Yeah, there's quite a bit of activity right here. Okay, here's some more activity and usually what you do is you um you find the fresh trails and then you smash them all down and then you wait until you have more fresh trails then you know for sure that they're that they're fresh but i just mowed last night so these would have been all all smashed down but you know since there's no actual real mound it's hard to determine where to set it but let's let's do a little probing and see if we can find a deep enough See, these aren't very deep. Well, that one's pretty good. So I wall it out a little bit, and then you take the, the other piece, and you kind of, you know, open it up for the gopher hawk. And then you don't set the gopher hawk first. You put it down in the hole, and then you caulk it. And see, these aren't very deep, so it, it, it has a hard time standing up on its own. Yeah, that one's not going to... I doubt that one gets anything. Let's set another one. See, these, these tunnels are, are right at the surface. And you usually have more success when they actually have a big mound. You can usually find a tunnel that's a little deeper let's see what we got over here oh man well we'll set them and like i said it takes a it's a little bit of a learning curve to figure out where to put these darn things you know you want to get them in some active trails Yeah, see, these are so shallow that it's going to be hard to properly set the hawk. These trails are not deep enough to really set the, the damn snare. I'm not sure why they're not mounding up like they usually do. You know, the last time I had moles, there was, you know, big mounds all over the yard. Yeah, I'm not sure what to... 
where to put these. Like I said, they don't really have any deep, deep uh, tunnels for me to. Well, that seems like that's kind of deep. Yeah, we'll set them and then we'll keep our eye on them and see what happens. And then when you look at the at the spring when it's sprung, you see this little bit of yellow there. When it's caulked, you don't see it. So at a glance, you can tell if it's tripped. Now that one I was able to get deeper. Okay. Yeah, we'll. Uh, that's my lunch alarm. Lunch is ready. We'll leave them out here a bit and uh, see what happens. Did I get one? My gopher hawk has been sprung. I've been setting the gopher hawks now for about a week, well, about two weeks. I got one mole almost immediately. And then I haven't had any actual mole mounds, but I've had a lot of trails that have just been too shallow uh, to really get anything. And I set this one last night and you can see it's been sprung, so is it a false alarm or do I have a, a mole victim? Let's find out. Oh, come on, I gotta kill these suckers. I think I got one. I got one, you little sucker. Yeah, that one actually got snared. Outstanding. Like I said many times, it's a, it's a learning curve to try to try to uh, get the gopher hawk set in the right area and it's taken me about a week and a half of moving them around and probing the tunnels and trying to get a tunnel that was deep enough but we got one guys so that's uh that's number two of this round outstanding you can see how he snagged i don't get paid by by gopher hawk but man this is a product like I said before the best thing about these is that you know you got it I mean there it is there's the proof great all right well that's it for this Thursday morning we'll uh, like I said we'll walk down those uh, mole tunnels and um, we'll look for fresh ones and we'll set them again and we'll kill the little bastards. Gopher Hawk. You got a mole problem? Get Gopher Hawk. Time to update the mole count. Yeah, it's been 10 days since I got my last mole. It'd been about, it'd been about four years, three or four years since I've had one before, but so that's seven moles total since I've lived here. And the last one was today.